Hello there, everybody, and welcome to what will probably be our finale today of this series. Uh, we just have to get the genies and Arceus today. Captain Silene is out here. Travis, would you come with me for a moment? Okay. Alright, we're going to sit through this first and then start the genie's uh, quest. Hmm. So you came. Travis, are you aware of why we named ourselves the Galaxy Expedition Team? Nope. As I expected, allow me to explain. I am quite fond of likening things to stars, such as how I described the intellect and abilities of Silene and others to our patrons. When explaining our plan to move to Hisui, I told them our members were as bright as shining stars. Hearing this, one of our patrons said to him, I see you have yourself a veritable galaxy then. Perhaps to curry favor, the commander then said he would name us the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm. That is not quite right, Silene. I also thought it was a fine name. Alas, the name will not live on forever. Once life here in the region settles down, the role of the Galaxy Team will end. And once we are no longer needed, it is only natural that our team will be disbanded. That's kind of sad. The important thing is that people learn to live in harmony with Pokemon in this vast land. Our name hardly matters, is that not so? I promise you, I will pass down the name of our team and tales of its accomplishments to all my descendants. I see. I suppose that does sound like something you would do, Silene. Travis. Forgive me for taking so much of your time. Please accept this as a sort of apology. Okay, a comet shard. Despite having fallen from the sky into this land, you have not once hesitated to help us. For that, I thought you deserved to know the story behind our name. I have high hopes for your continued efforts to help the people and Pokemon of Hisui. Alright, now we can start the uh, genie quest. Yay, here we go. Kogita! I've just been told of the foul plan Volo had concocted. Well, think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. But what are what of you? Are you making progress with your what do you call your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? It's going all right. Indeed, well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you like to hear? Tornadus, sure. Tornadus in every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms as it goes. When a blizzard batters the ice lands, tornadoes may be about. Thunderous flies around, bolt, it fires bolts of lightning in every which way. Rainstorm in the coastlands, it's around. Landorus is in the Guardian Fields. Alright, that was really about it. Okay. I don't remember exactly where it is in the field lands, but I know I've caught them all in my other file. <clears throat> Perhaps the cause lies with the space-time rift, or simply with their own whims. I suppose their stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you aplenty, but nature has need of such things. 
If you wish to know more, you'd best study the Pokemon for yourself. When you've completed your Pokedex for those three, come and speak with me. All right. I will say, one thing I've really enjoyed about Arceus, I don't know where I would put it yet on the, um, it's not the worst Pokemon game I've ever played, but it's not the best. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, it's a fabulous game. I don't mean that as a shot. I, I think there are many fabulous Pokemon games, so being middle of the pack means you've hit the gold standard, if you ask me. Um, the thing with Pokemon Arceus that I really enjoy is the fact that you get, they showed once again, just like in Sun and Moon, you don't have to do the gyms. Like you don't have to follow the same formula to be fun. Although I love the gyms. Don't get me wrong. I was thrilled to have them back in sword and shield. Um, but it's just nice to see, uh, that you can do something different with the formula and still have fun with it. All right, let's see here. Going to take all of those because we are going to need those. Because I have to hit the uh, genies with stuff to try and catch them. Alright. Um, sure, why not? Let's go for Landorus first, since I didn't remember where it was. <laughs> Get the one that I don't remember, and the other two where I have a, a little bit of an idea where they are. Maybe we'll get them that way. Um, mission request. I don't remember where to find you. Not at all. I think you're just out in the open over here, but I don't remember. I think as I get close, some music starts playing. Well, there's only so many places to check. So. Yeah, it might be close to Romanus Park, because I believe that, for the most part, the genies are in, like, flat area. Huh, I do not know. All right, well, since my memory is not what I thought it was, let's go get the other two then. The other two, it's just a matter of waiting for a blizzard and waiting for um, a rainstorm. Which I'm pretty sure you don't have to actually wait for a blizzard. I think you just fly into where there's a blizzard. Like, there's a, there'll be a blizzard when you're in the area, if you get what I'm saying. Nope, really has to be in the blizzard. Okay. Well, then we just rest until we have a day where there's a blizzard. That's not quite a blizzard, but there is snowfall. Uh, 
was glaily. I was like, what? Yeah, I guess that wasn't considered blizzard enough. All right, fine. I didn't mean to do morning again, but all right. I don't mean to keep doing morning. I, I keep forgetting it started me at the top of the list. All right, let's try doing this the right way this time. Midday. Come on. Snowfall is the closest thing I've had so far. So I guess we'll go with it. I guess there's one cheap way to get a blizzard is if we leave and then come back when there's a question mark uh, spawn here it's supposed to be tornadoes in a blizzard and thunderous in the rain like heavy rain all right of course no question marks either place um, Let's try here. I don't think I don't believe you have to do them in any order, like any particular order. But we'll try here next, since uh, nothing else is working right now. At least this camp is really close to where we got to go. I wish there was a way to tell when the weather was going to change. The fun of uh, just waiting for the weather to be right. Alright, we're gonna go 
here with my question mark idea. I thought I could just sleep until I triggered the weather, but it's being stubborn, the game, so. Let's see if we can get a question mark to trigger so we get a blizzard or a storm that way. There we go. Now we can give this a shot. We'll see if this was uh, an easier way of getting this to work. Pretty sure he's out here somewhere. Aha. Darn, I should have uh throw I should have done that faster. Right, I was gonna say I think we gotta hit him a couple times before it uh gives up and lets me battle it. It's hard to... There we go. Sheesh. Alright, Infernal Parade. We shouldn't one-shot it. And we didn't. Good. Typhlosion somehow hangs on. Infernal Parade. Well, we're not going to be able to paralyze it because it's an electric type. Go Glide score to at least keep it from using electric moves. And here we go. First ball again, all right. So we got the Thunderous. All right, so the question marks, easy cheat to, uh, well, not really a cheat, but it makes it a lot easier to get the correct weather. Which means we can just wait for a question mark in the Icelands to get uh, tornadoes. If we don't get the question mark um, this next time around, I may visit Kogita again, because I don't think there was any sort of uh, tip. Like, you didn't need a certain weather to see Landorus, so I want to see what the tip was again. <laughs> All right, perfect. Let's go there. What was your tip about Landorus again? Not going to tell me again, huh? All right. Thanks. Very helpful. The only clue was that it was in the Obsidian Fieldlands. That was really it. Well, after seeing Landorus, that has reminded me that it'll look like a little, you know, tornado. I'm pretty sure it's either near the um, Romanus Island or it's out here. Because wherever I fought it before, I had plenty of room to 
run around and such. Oh my gosh, come on, map. Work with me here. You know what? I could just do that, can't I? We'll do that. I keep forgetting I could press the X button to essentially accomplish the same thing. Alright. I was right. Ah. Oh man, I remember, I remember now, he's kind of annoying because I have to ride Weird Ear to get close to him, but you can't throw when you're on Weird Ear. There we go. Managed to make that work somehow. Infernal Parade. Alright, we got the burn. Let's just go quick attack, because with it being burned, we're going to be on a little bit of a timer here. Ultra Ball. But much like being paralyzed or being asleep, burn will help. Yep. All right. Landorus is caught. All right. Two down, one to go. Uh, before we can report back to Kogita. I believe when I did this the first time, I got Tornadus and then Landorus and then... I mean, uh, Tornadus and then Thunderous and then Landorus. Like, I did them in order. But I can't remember for sure, so... Alright, we, we need three Pokemon now, and Tornadus is the next on the list. No question mark there yet. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just be blizzardy anyway. No. All right. Well, then back to the village. Rinse, repeat until we get a question mark there. Still going to select it every time on the off chance that it does have the blizzard weather. But, yeah. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> There we go. We've got our question mark. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The hard thing here is that there's all those Glalie hanging around. Oh, wrong button, my bad. Oh, what did I get hit by? Oh, was it the Glalie? Yeah, let's take care of this Glalie so it's out of the way. It's out of the way now. We still have some regular Glalie we got to deal with, but we'll make it work as need be. There we go. Alright, get rid of the Glalie first. Typhlosion's low on health anyway, so it's not like it's going to be the one to beat the battle Tornadus a lot anyway. Alright. Typhlosion goes down. There we go. Um... Let's go Electivire so we can Thunder Wave. Gudra. Dragon Pulse. Alright, here we go. Can we get it at half health while it's paralyzed? Probably not. I'll take it. All right, we got the Tornadus. All right, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to report back to Kogita. No, I really have enjoyed this game. It's going to be tough to place it. I, I'll probably do a video at some point where I place my generations now that Arceus has been out for, at the time of this recording, almost nine months. Um, now that I've had that long to, and I've played through the game twice, uh, I've really got an idea of kind of where this game fits in as a whole in the series. And like I said, it's definitely not the not the worst one. That's still, in my opinion, for the mainline series games, 
uh, belongs to X and Y. That's not saying X and Y are bad. It's one of those things where, um, you know, if you're ranking the top, if you're ranking all eight generations, you know, if last place is a 9.5, that's just, that just speaks to the quality of the other games as opposed to the, uh, the bottom one not being good. The bottom one is good. It's just a matter of, um, like I said, some of them are a 10, some of them are a 9.9, 9.8, 9.7. .9 like, it just kind of comes and goes. So it just depends. Uh, so, like, while I have X and Y at the bottom, I still think they're great games. Oh, do I have to actually bring them? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. We have completed entries in your Pokedex. Do I have to actually, like complete their page I don't remember that do I have to actually like complete their page uh... yep you have to get their pages to level 10 okay well Landorus is close we just got to use uh Two, uh, two Agile Sandseer Storm. And essentially do the same strategy with these other ones. Okay, that actually won't be too bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go do... We're going to go beat up some, like, level three Bidoofs real quick. Sorry, Bidoof in advance. It's just you're the quickest and easiest thing to get to. I mean, literally, when we walk into the field lands, we have, like, four of them right there at the beginning. And Shinx will probably be a casualty here as well. Maybe a Starly. Are they all agile in their Pokedex for what they need? Agile, agile. Okay. All agile with their uh, best move, basically. Mm. All right. Okay. Do that one more time and his page is complete. That should be a complete Pokedex entry now for him. Two, four, six. That'd be eight. So we need one more Wild Bolt Storm. Sorry, Badoof, you're gonna get hit too. All right, there we go. Thunderous is done. Now we just gotta do the same thing for the other two. It's usually, I was going to say, a couple shinks or something up here. I don't know how I overthrew it that much, but all right. Man, I am tired tonight. Sorry for the yawning, everybody. My camera's doing something weird. It's like putting spots on my face when I turn my head for some reason. I do not have those. All right, so there's one. We need two more attacks from uh, Landorus here. All right. And 
this ought to get Landorus done. There we go. Yep. Now we just got to get uh, Tornadus done and we're good to go here. So three attacks, two agile. I don't care what Pokemon they are. I just got to find two more targets here to... There you go. Sorry, Wurmple. You're the first ones we saw. All right. One more attack. And then we can go see Kogito. <laughs> that one just ran away. I forgot Wurmple could run. Alright, now we've got it. Alright, easy enough. We can put them back in storage. done there let's go get our next pokemon and then arceus this is the finale episode so i don't care if it runs a little longer than usual i don't think it will run too much longer but if it does oh well it's an antique tea set i was trying to talk to her okay Ah, oh, you've arrived. You not you now know much about Landorus, Tornadus, and even Thunderous. Well done. In more normal times, I would bid bid you let those three fly free as in their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space time rift until its after effects fade entirely. Perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained. And now it is time to tell you the rest. What? There is one more of that cohort. The one of the few new Pokemon, the only new legendary, like that wasn't a form. Come. I need both anyway, so I got both forms of it in my um, Pokemon home. A more. This is Enamorous, a Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her then, if you like. She always flits about in the Crimson Mirelands. Alright. I'm going to have Gyarados out first. Um, I know Electivire is good for paralyzing and also just in general because it's a flying type. But um, since we're going to the Mirelands, and I remember where you find her is like um, in the muddy areas of the Mirelands. I want to have Gyarados race so we can fight off Hippowdon and everything else that's getting in our way. Oh, that's right. On this one, I never made the... Um, the other camp. <laughs> All right.
I had forgotten that, that on the, this save file I didn't do that. Oh well, it's not that hard to fly over here. Now where's your little tornado? Oh wow, right in the middle, okay. This is going to be something, because there's just so many Pokemon around, like that scum tank that now sees us. Oh, come on, I stopped. Oh, I forgot about that, where it changes, like it confuses you too. Alright, I hit it once at least. It got me before I could attempt it again, but we've hit it twice already. That's good. Oh, come on. I stopped moving. That shouldn't have happened. All right, give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. I'm trying to heal some while also chasing the legendary. Come on. You're in the red. Turn black. Come on, borders. I have a feeling it doesn't heal when there's a Pokemon in pursuit. Yep, alright. Well, let's hope I don't have to start co over completely with it. Man, with the other genies, I, I remember... Okay, that time I wasn't moving, and, it, and the game wouldn't let me move. That's a little unfair. Um... I remember being frustrated with this on the original playthrough of mine because uh, it is a little unfair with the timing of some of this stuff. I just kind of got lucky before and made it work. Okay, seriously though, I had stopped. And like right there, like come on. Okay, just avoid Stunky for now. All right, let's go up here on the on the cliff. Like, let's let's rest somewhere safe here. I do. I like I said. I remember this being difficult. So. Now wait a second. I had healed. Why did that happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I disagree, game. I strongly disagree. I had waited until I had healed up and then charged in. Well, as you can see, this one's a little more frustrating. It stinks because um, you, you have to get off of Weird Ear to throw the ball of mud. And at the same time... With all these Pokemon in the mud and everything, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to keep things uh, going in your favor here. That was weird. I say it's hard enough to catch this thing as it is. It doesn't need help. From all the other Pokemon. Ah. We dodged its uh, tornadoes, but we weren't close enough to throw anything at it. Well darn. All right. Oh my goodness, I like I hate it because you have to change what direction you're going in essentially as you're running toward it. 
Because if you continue in the direction you're going in, you're screwed. Yep. Okay, the only thing I could see is I guess I'm going to have to take on all of the other Pokemon because it's getting tough with all those other Pokemon right there. I'm going to have to take on the other Pokemon and knock them all out before I can, uh, like, take a real shot at this, I guess. Which, that stinks, because that's going to take a fair amount of time up itself. The action, if I could get this thing to the battle, it's actually not hard to beat and catch. But the problem right now is that I can't get to the battle stage. Alright, let's just get rid of you first off. Alright, good riddance. That's one less thing to get in our way. I'm trying to get to the deer, not Braviary. Great. Good start. Good start. Darn it, move before I could hit it. Oh, that's bull. I was turning to the right. I wasn't going straight anymore when it hit me. Come on. I don't understand why sometimes it comes in with a second attack and sometimes it doesn't. Alright, this is an example right here where I just need to get rid of everything in the area. Yep, anything getting in my way has to go. Yep, anything that's even remotely in my way, I'm catching or defeating. I hate this thing so much. I hate battling it so much. All right, let's see, anything else over here that's in the way? Yep. All right. So we've caught a few things and gotten rid of a few things. Anything else around here that's, gonna, I was going to say, going to be problematic? I see one more Krogunk, and I also see a Hippowd on here that could be a problem. All right, knock out this Scun Tank. I'm 39 levels higher and it held on, really? Alright. 
Let's try this again now that we've got less obstacles in the way. Really? I got off of the weird air and it still hit me, huh? Now, where'd these other Pokemon come from? Come on. Oh, come on! I was hitting the buttons! Alright, so catching the Pokemon clearly isn't going to get them out of the area. That that stinks. I was hit. I was holding the trigger and trying to throw the mud ball, and it just would not let me. It would not let me. Oh, I'm trying to remember how I did this before. Because I know there's a trick to it. I mean, heck, the first time I was going through it here, I hit it twice. I think I only hit it like three times, and then you can battle it. just don't remember apparently what I've got to do to make it hittable speaking of which it's changed that to the mud ball uh, are you kidding me the stupid stunt stunky got in the way Really? Right where I was going, huh? Right where I was going. It just knew. Oh, I hate I hate trying to catch this Pokemon here in the Mirelands. I hate it so much. Ah, uh, there might be one other way. Can't even finish my thought. It attacked me without even looking at me. It had its back to me and it attacked me. Alright, um, I was going to say, maybe I could try hitting it with the uh, wing balls so I can hit it from farther away than the mud balls, because believe it or not, that will work, because that's how I caught my uh, Tornadus the first time around, was I just hit it over and over again with balls until uh, it let its guard down. All right, where are you hanging out at over here? Over there, huh? What the... Okay, what is going on with the Braviary here? I just want you to let me down. There we go. Okay. Can I get close enough to throw one of these at it without it going nuts? That is the question. Come on, get closer. Ah, stupid genie. All right, fine. I think that's what I did before was just jump. Well, that didn't. That clearly wasn't the answer. Why? Why can't I hit you? Like it doesn't make any sense. I could hit all the other genies. Really, I got stuck behind a rock. The one time I actually had a chance, I'm stuck. I hate, I hate fighting this thing in the freaking Mirelands. I hate it so much. Like, how am I supposed to ever hit this thing? I finally got it once after like eight tries. All right, all right, come on. Come on, game, give me this. I think I've finally figured something out here.
Thank you, finally. Jumping work. That was the thing that solved it, of course. All right. Let's go, Gyarados. Beat the crud out of this thing. Um, I don't know how bulky you are. Let's just go Aqua Tail. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go with a super effective move. All right, throw a ball at it. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch it right away and put us out of our misery here. Thank goodness, that's over. All right. We did it. I don't think the Pokemon is stupid, but gosh, the uh, what you got to do to catch it is kind of stupid. So glad to be done with that. Whew. All right, caught a lot more Pokemon than I really wanted to catch. Oh, boy. A completed Pokedex at last. Though, in a way, you could almost call this a Travish Dex. And, of course, you had your directive, didn't you? I recall the message you received when you first fell down to this land. Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seems you've finally achieved that goal. So where must you go now? Mount Coronet, the Temple of Sinnoh. You'll find nowhere else in all of Hisui closer to the heavens. You are practically among the stars up there. As if one with the very universe, all creation. What will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling. But, well, this isn't my tale of adventure. It's yours. This is for you and you alone to go and find out. We each have our separate duties. Yours is to go to the Temple of Sinnoh, and mine is to give this Pokedex a jolly thorough read-through. All right, finally. Time to go get Arceus. Oh. She wants me to complete Kogita's entry, huh? All right, then. We'll do that first, I guess. I'm assuming it's going to be just like the other three. In how we do it, I mean. Yep. We need to use uh, three agile springtide, springtide storms or whatever. And look at that, three Bidoof to work with. I'm sorry, Bidoof. The game's making me do this. Here we go. We missed. Great job. Alright, since we missed one, we're going to have to heal. So we can use that attack again. Perfect. Hi, Bidoof. Bye, Bidoof. Well, 
once we ever attack. Alright, that should have that covered. Alright, we'll go talk to Kogita and then we'll take on Arceus. Yeah, I'm just going to have this finale be a longer episode because I don't think there's enough left just fighting Arceus to make it so, make itself a, an entire episode. Aha, uh -huh, you've caught Enamorous as well, and you know much about her. Enamorous arrives in Hisui once winter has passed, hence the epithet Herald of Spring. Her company, when I have the pleasure, is of great help, she ferries me. Hither and yon across Hisui. But I'll leave her in your care for now, I suppose. Indeed, even you can hardly expect to live for all time, surely. But she will be in your care for now. Here, this is the reveal glass. If you use it on an Amorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. You, Enamorous, and her brethren have something in common. You all tend to stir the pot of life. Do not mistake me, I mean this positively. If everything were straightforward, what meaning would there be in living as long as we do? Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring. Upon Hisui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Was that how the old verse went? I've passed on to you all there is to pass. Where history goes from here, I leave to you and your companions to see through. All right, to Arceus, away! But yeah, I've enjoyed this game enough that I would love to have another Legends game, like a Legends Celebi or a Legends Mew, you know, like pick your Pokemon from what generation and have a Legends game based on it. Let's see, so Arceus is technically a mythical. Um, so like you'd have Arceus, Celebi... Uh, I guess something like Jirachi for Gen 3. Uh, I guess Deoxys is technically a mythical, but you... I don't know. It, it's tough sometimes uh, because, like, Deoxys can be caught in the Oras games now. And Arceus can be caught in the... Um, well, at the conclusion of this game and in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So, um... Uh, I guess if we're truly doing mythicals, yeah, it'd be like Jirachi for Gen 3. Gen 5 would be either Genesect or Keldeo or Meloetta. You get the idea. Gen 6, it would have to be Volcanion or Magirna or Deancey because, like, Eveltal and and uh, Xerneas are regular legendaries. Same with Zygarde. So, I don't know. I think I think you could do a Legends game though, because like Legends Celebi, you'd have like the Burn Tower and Tin Tower, but like together before anything happened. Much like how we had Spear Pillar here before it got blown up. So yeah. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon lore that you could work with to make another Legends game in the future. Alright, Azure Flute. Let's play and go get our Arceus.
You played the Azure flute. Now, to date, when I have done this fight, I have never won... When I did it the first time, I did not win this fight without um, having to continue after getting beat. Like, you know, when the fighting the nobles, if you got beat, you could choose to continue from your current progress. That's why I ended up having to do against Arceus before, so uh, wouldn't be shocked if I have to do that again this time. A glowing stairway appeared. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, Arceus. Not a good time for my back to be sore. I <laughs> try to loosen up my back here. I say my back, it's really more like my shoulder blade. Okay, let's see. I didn't mess up the mic there, did I? I did not. Good. And he's just going to appear, right? Yep. I say he, it. Arceus! Special bombs for Arceus. Here we go. Yeah, he's got one attack that's just like super unfair in this game. Here we go. I'll see how well I can fare here. Maybe. There we go. Oh, I hit the button. The game just didn't register it. Thanks, game. All right, there we go. I don't remember. I was going to say how many of these there are. Yikes. Woo. Okay, come on. Oh, I hit the button. Come on. Okay, come on. I was I was doing my roll. Yikes. All right, yeah, one roll. One roll throw. One roll throw. I'm too close to him. I was going to say I'm too I'm too close. There's no time to dodge. I'm supposed to break those, aren't I? Yep, that's how many times I was supposed to hit him. Okay. That was not the attack I was talking about that was unfair. I just kind of forgot that was a thing. All right, I'm just going to continue from the progress because, like, there's an Arceus on the line. Like, we get an Arceus for finishing this fight. I don't know if it resets or not because I didn't make it past, like, any checkpoints, so to say. The way the stamina bar is, it's like it's got four points of the battle. So it might just start full again for me anyway. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, now, like, see, that isn't fair. And they didn't do that at all last time. What was that?
No warning. No warning at all of the attack. They say get farther away so I have room to actually like dodge. Come on, I hit the X button and they didn't give it to me. Okay, you all saw the... You guys saw the dive too, right? Right? So I got her to dive, but she didn't dive over the uh, the thing, apparently. So, yeah. Yep. Game's gonna be picky here, it looks like. I didn't remember this fight being too frustrating. I think I only got beat once. Like, I only had to continue once when I did it on my first try. But, um... We haven't had a fight like this for a while against any of the noble Pokemon, really, so uh, I guess I'm rusty. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to do the teleport thing like last time. You can't change your attack pattern, man. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> If I could get him down below one of these bars here, that would uh, really go a long way in trying to do the continue my progress thing. Again, no, no, no warning. Just did, just did the attack. Yeah, Arceus is not an easy fight. I'm making it look a lot harder than it is, but uh, it's not easy. Or not a pushover, I guess, is the correct way I should describe it. Alright, I, th I think I got it past a bar. Yay, I can continue from this point on now. Alright, this is the attack I said was unfair. So you have no idea where he's coming from. Like, how the heck am I... I didn't know he was going to be that far away. How am I supposed to... So that still isn't the one I was talking about. But yeah, a lot of unfair uh, attacks there. Uh, continue. Keep progress, yeah. I finally got far enough that the keep progress means something. Of course I'm going to keep it. Okay. So it should be three bars if I understood that correctly. Come on. Yay. All right, where the heck are you going to go? Oh, boy. Where'd you go? This is the unfair one. Oh, I dodged it. Oh, my gosh, I dodged it. I didn't dodge it once before. Oh, this attack. I didn't dodge that attack once before where he just kind of comes out of nowhere. Oh boy. Twice now. Uh oh. That's not right. Uh, oh. What the? I'm so confused right now. I guess I made it to safety? What in the... What just happened? Oh, come on. I'm so close to getting to that next bar. Alright, there we go. More progress has been made.
Oh, come. I did. I was in the middle of the roll. They didn't give me the immunity. Come on. I'm supposed to be immune to the hit when I'm in the roll, and they didn't give it to me. All right. Well, at least we're halfway through the battle now. That's a shame, though. I should have got those other hits in and been okay, but all right. Halfway through. Assuming it really does keep my progress I made. Oh, boy. All right, so there we go. Uh, I hit the button. I hit the button. I don't know why she didn't do it that time. That time she did it, no problem. That time she didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's my controller. I, I don't want to. I don't know. I'm not one that usually like to blame the controller. I'm just trying to think of why it is and isn't working. Oh, uh, really? With that attack, you wait for the sound and then you jump, basically. I just wish there was more of a warning before that wave of electricity shoots out from him. I hit the button. She was still stuck in the throwing animation. Ah! I know on that attack to wait for the noise, but I thought he was doing a different attack. The, um... The frustrating thing with this battle is it's not clear a lot of times which attack he's going to go for and when it starts. Like that elect like the pulse wave that's coming out, it just starts happening. There's no like, "Oh, I'm charging up to start sending a pulse." It's just, "Nope, it's coming now." So, um if there's more warning, I think it'd be easier, but at the same time this is supposed to be like the final thing in the game. You don't want it to be super easy. I hit the button. The game doesn't like if I try to dodge immediately after a throw. I have to like throw, give it ample time, and then dodge. So instead of getting greedy and trying to get two throws in, I'm just gonna have to settle for one. Really? I, I was not holding back. Why did you go backwards? I was holding to the right and you went backwards on the dodge. Why? The dodge the, the lack of dodging is going to kill me. It's going to it's going to make it so I cannot win beat this fight. Oh my gosh, next section. There we go. No, don't go backwards. Oh my gosh, about time. Flamethrower. Oh, we got the burn. What do you know? Interesting, it went extrasensory instead of judgment. I'm alright with that. You still have the burn. We're not trying to catch it at this point. We're just trying to defeat it. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I can check. Pretty sure we're just going for defeating it, though. Because it still has some uh, of its bar left. Yep. Yay, I got hit one more time for good measure. But we won, finally. Okay. Thou hat. Oh. 
Thou hast done well to seek out all Pokemon. Unflagging devotion to a goal shalt see it through. So hast thou proven by thine actions. Much as that ancient hero once did, he and the Pokemon that walked beside him. To see such truths proven anew, beyond the bounds of time and space, bringeth joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path, upon thee and upon this creation where thou, shalt, where thou now dwellest, I bestow my blessing, and I bestow upon thee a part of myself. I would walk this world together with thee. Show me how it appeareth in thine eyes. We did it! We did it! We got Arceus. Whew! We did it, we got Arceus. All right, we did it, everybody. We made it through. We made it through. We actually have completed Arceus. Let's go ahead and get that old uh, shiny charm and credits and such just to uh, finish her off here. Be faster if I just do it this way. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. I see you're making good progress with your work on the Pokedex. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, am I not a high enough rank to be to have the shiny charm? That's funny. All right, well, no shiny charm, but we did it, everybody. We caught all the Pokemon. How about that? We've done it. Thank you all so much for watching this series. It's been a blast. I've really enjoyed it. We've had some fun along the way. We got the shiny Snow Runt that we evolved into uh, Frostlass, and we got the shiny Combi. Caught all the legendaries. Uh, I guess there's only one last thing for me to do then. Because since I have the shiny charm on my other file, I'm not going to bother to go out of my way to get my score up for another shiny charm. What I will do, though, is uh, for my Pokemon home, I've got regular Enamorous. I need to uh, switch it to its other form here. Well, really, all four of them. And I need to put the uh, the team that we used at the bottom here. I may keep those Pokemon at least for a little bit. At the very least, Typhlosion, because we went ahead and maxed it all out of everything. 
Yeah, I think that's what we'll do because I have a maxed out Gudra and such on my other files. So let's go ahead and keep all these as part of the team, and we'll keep Spiritomb with us in uh, in Typhlosion's place. This Typhlosion can come with me. All right, let's uh, transform you four. For the sake of Pokemon Holmes Pokedex. All right. All right. And last but not least, one of the Pokemon I was missing. There we go. I had the regular one, but I needed two so I could have both forms in the decks at once. And now that will no longer be something I'm missing. All right. Once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun. Pokemon Legends Arceus is officially completed. I'll be back next time with Paper Mario on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and on Thursday, Fridays, it will be Octopath Traveler. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time with something else. All right. Bye-bye.